Case for the White House, former Vice President Mike Pence and former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie are expected to jump into the race for the 2024 GOP presidential nomination this week. And they will join a growing field of Republican candidates, including their one boss and by far the front runner, former President Trump. This is as the grand jury looking into the classified documents at Mar-a-Lago is expected to meet again this week after weeks of no movement in the case. NBC's Alice Barr is live from Capitol Hill with the details. Just as the Republican presidential contest starts heating up with several candidates set to announce this week, there's word of a potential legal bombshell for the far and away frontrunner, former President Trump. Members of the Trump legal team spotted at the Department of Justice today as the grand jury hearing evidence in the former president's handling of classified documents is expected to meet again this week after a hiatus. A decision to indict by special counsel Jack Smith would mark the first time a former president has been charged with a federal crime. Mr. Trump adamantly denies any wrongdoing, arguing he had the right to keep classified materials at his Mar-a-Lago estate. I took the documents I'm allowed to. Though the Presidential Records Act contradicts that. Former President Trump also faces investigations into efforts to overturn the 2020 election and felony charges of falsifying business records in New York. As the legal challenges pile up, Republican candidates looking for an opening set to jump into the race this week, including past Trump allies, former Vice President Mike Pence, who filed paperwork today to make his run official, and former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. Several candidates now sharpening their attacks on the former president from his claims he can fix the country in six months. Don't let anyone tell you they can do this in 24 hours or in six months or anything like that. Uh, this is going to be trench warfare. To the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. He thinks it was a beautiful day. I think it was a terrible day. I'll always stand by that. To praise for North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. Whether it's my former running mate or anyone else, no one should be praising the dictator in North Korea. Presidential hopefuls who once praised Mr. Trump now challenging him. Even as the field of Republican candidates grows, new requirements may limit the number that can make it on stage for the first primary debate in August, including strict polling and fundraising criteria and a promise to support whoever gets the nomination. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.